In this short video, we are going to compare the weight of the carbon seat post with the standard one, and we're going to show you how to install it. It is the hottest day in September on record, so we're hiding in the Brompton tree to try and cool down a bit. There are three seat post length options for your Brompton. Standard, extended, and telescopic. We put them here so you can just have a comparison of the different height it generates. Starting with the standard seat post, this is recommended for people with an inside leg of up to 33 inches or 84 centimetres. Then the extended seat post, which is recommended for people with an inside leg of between 33 and 35 inches. And then if you're tall, there's a telescopic seat post, which is recommended for people with legs longer than 35 inches. That's the inside leg measurement. Because we're worried that the Brompton tree might fail under the weight of these bicycles, our chapter three is going on a speedy diet. Since we've had the chapter three, we've made one video on making it lighter, and that was replacing the pedals with the super light versions. Since we started using them a lot, we really, really like them. They're easy to remove and make the bicycle smaller when it's folded. There are. And your pedals are both the same size, which when you're a bit like me is really nice. I, I prefer that. It feels nicer. Today is about the seat post and we're going to save weight by changing the seat post on this bicycle. Launched with the T-Line was a carbon seat post. And until now, it was not available aftermarket. But as of today, it is currently available as an aftermarket option that can actually fit all of your Bromptons. The first step in changing your seat post is to put your Brompton into the half folded position with the saddle up. You can then undo your pentaclip using a five millimeter Allen key. If you have a B75 or sorry, an A-line, you need a 13 millimeter spanner to undo the seat post clamp. So you undo your pentaclip using a five millimeter Allen key. A tip if you have rounded your bolt, is to use a hex plus like this, which will undo it even if it's a little bit worse for wear. You don't want to undo your pentaclip too much, otherwise it might fall apart. And now you just simply slide your saddle off. Next step, remove the O-rings. They don't want to come off. This isn't how it's necessarily recommended to do it in the Brompton manual, but this is how we find it the easiest. So it's what we're going to show you. Next step, unfold your bicycle. Undo the seat post clamp and gently drop the seat post down. You can then pick your bicycle up and simply remove your seat post. A quick reminder, the seat post comes out the bottom of the bicycle. You don't need to cut the flange off. And yes, we have heard people have done that. The weight of a standard seat post with a bung in black, according to this scale, is 395 grams. The new Brompton Superlight Carbon seat post is available in standard and extended lengths. I actually can't wait to have a look in the box. It tells you that the standard length seat post saves you 30% weight than a standard seat post, weighing in at 281 grams. We'll check that in a minute. It also tells you it has a carbon fiber shell with an innovative 0.3 millimeter steel armor. It apparently stands up to daily use and importantly, it is compatible with all Bromptons. The extended one saves you slightly more weight at 31% lighter. Also compatible with all Bromptons. So can we take a look now? It also has some diagrams to help you install it and some instructions which we are loosely following. We are going to install the standard one on our chapter three because, well, we have standard length legs. So now I'm going to open the box. Ooh. For some reason I don't want to damage the packaging. This there looks like a very well packaged seat post in a box. Sorry, box. Sorry, tree.
It looks like a, a, a nice black seat post. First thing I have noticed, it's got a different seat post button. I wonder if it'll stay in better. Shall we see how much it weighs? I can't wait. The moment of truth, the weight of the super light carbon seat post. According to our scale, it's 306 grams. So you're saving about 90 grams. Installing it is relatively easy. You just need to unfold your bicycle. And carefully slide the seat post up. You can then do the seat post clamp up. Half fold it. And then I'm going to put the O-rings back on that I took off. Interestingly, it looks like it has a code on the inside of the seat post. I wonder if that's to try and help prevent any counterfeits. And then reinstall my saddle and pentaclip. So I'm going to pop my pentaclip back on my new shiny seat post. And then with my five millimeter hex key, tighten up my seat clamp. So now I think, since I've had the chapter three, I have saved approximately 190 grams. So how much does he now weigh? So with his new seat post and the super light pedals, it now is 9.4 kilos. If you like this video featuring a chapter three, some seat posts and some super light pedals. We'd really like it if you gave us a big thumbs up. Our chapter three is going on a speedy diet. We've origin we've originally no, can't do it. So the next step we find easiest oh let me do that again. We came in the shade. The new Brompton the extended one saves you slightly more weight at 31% weighter. Waiter? Fox, shut up. Carefully pick it up. And <laughs>